Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome to today's video. I am all cozied up like this because it is a extra cold night here in Orlando, Florida and our heater is not working the best. So bundling up it is. So that is why I am dressed like this. But I have a, another huge Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys, which I'm so excited about. It's crazy because I feel like, I mean, I just did a huge one last week, but this week is my daughter's birthday week. I think that you will be watching this video on my daughter's actual birthday, which is uh, Friday, January 19th. And we are having a little family birth birthday party for her after um, she gets out of school. So I want to get some little things. It's not like a big birthday party where it's going like crazy with the decorations but i want to get a, a few things to put here and there so i have a few things like that a couple random things and then some more valentine's day stuff so let's get into this video by starting with um the random stuff i picked up this mixing bowl i wanted to try it out because i don't really have anything like this for pancakes so i just got this to give it a whirl and see how it does with pancakes I picked up this little, what is it called, crossbody bag. I liked the design of it, but mostly I got it for um, putting inside my purse, like using this to hold my camera. Um, when I bring it around with me, I just throw it in my purse right now, and I lost a lens cap for it long ago. And I figure if I can protect it a little extra, go ahead and do it. And I figure I would put like a little scarf in there or something to make it a little bit softer. And this camera is pretty durable though, but just use this and put it inside my purse. So hopefully that will work out pretty well. The next random thing that I found was this paint. It's just glittery purple paint and I thought my daughter would enjoy playing with that. I thought it was a pretty color, so I grabbed it. Like I said, her birthday is this Friday, so I figure I'll throw this in as a little birthday gift. And she likes to do, it's a tradition that we hide uh, whatever presents we get for her around the house. It's like a little treasure hunt, but this year we are taking her on a trip for her birthday. She wanted to go see snow. She's been begging us to go see snow for years now, and she's never been on a vacation outside of Florida because we live in Orlando and we go to Disney all the time and we stay out at the resorts all the time there. So she's never been on a plane, and that's the other thing. She's dying to go on an airplane. She always asks, I can't wait till the day I can do that. And then she begged us for her birthday. She wanted to go see snow. Anyways, we are surprising her. She knows she's going on a trip to go and try and see snow. She has no idea where we're going and she has no idea that we are flying on an airplane. So she's gonna do a little treasure hunt at the end of her little gifts here and there. And that's why this is perfect to just throw in as you know a little area where you give little clues and the final one will be a paper airplane and she'll open it up and say you get to fly on a plane to Colorado and so she finds out that she's flying on a plane and where we're actually going. So we're really excited and we're leaving for Colorado it's Saturday morning the 20th. If any of you guys live in the Cherry Creek area or the Denver area and know anything about that um, area let me know in the comments below I would love that anyways a long ramble but I feel like I had to share because that's what's going on in my life right now and that's what I'm thinking about with everything that I'm purchasing which is why it is another big haul for her family birthday party that we are having for her on Friday night she originally said she wanted an emoji cake and like emoji like plates and stuff like that I was like okay so I picked up a bunch of emoji napkins and plates in the smaller size and the bigger size we're just gonna do like pizza and cake and um so when we went to go pick out her birthday cake she was flipping through this book at Publix and she saw a unicorn cake she's like that's the cake I want I'm like well I guess that's kind of emoji there's an emoji unicorn so we're kind of mixing emojis and unicorns together since I thought it was going to be an emoji party I grabbed these emoji um cups and I thought these were extra girly so I thought those would be cute for her. I was going to put rocks in the bottom, bottom of them, well I probably still will, but put the rocks in the bottom of them and add some water and some fresh flowers and just kind of place them around the house with a balloon um, right next to it or something. I thought that'd be cute and easy to do. I picked up some of these party hats just to lay around the house next to some of these. I got some of the squawker kind and then some of the blowout kind just to use as decoration and scattered maybe around the area where 
the um, emoji cup is with the flowers or, you know, just little touches here and there. Nothing crazy, um, but just cute little touches here and there. I also picked up this hanging decoration, two of them. I got it in the blue and the purple since in the emoji cups there's blue and purple um, and in the streamers and stuff. So I got those, that one looks like that and that one. Then I picked up this happy birthday banner. I thought this one was real cute and I'll either use this above like her cake or kind of where you first walk in. Um, Either way, I just think it's cute and it kind of matches with the multiple color schemes we have going on with the emoji stuff and the unicorn. I found a new Easter sign. This is the only other new Easter sign that I have found. It just says Easter greetings. I think it's pretty and it's sparkly. I like these pastel colors for it. So I was excited to find this one. I think it'll be cute with the bunny one with the little cotton tails. I love that one. Okay, all the rest of the stuff is Valentine's Day stuff, so let's get to it. I did find two of these pink love signs that I was on the hunt for. Only ones that I found, and it was only in pink, so. Um, but I'm so excited about these coffee mugs. I love these coffee mugs. I got a couple of each. I thought these would be so cute in my little coffee bar area. I love the colors of them, and I just think they look, you know, adorable. <laughs> I found these little pillar lights. They look like this on them and I actually got them to go on top of the white um, uh, candle stick. This one that was from Dollar Tree. I thought that would look cute on top of there so I picked it up just for that. I also picked up two bunches of these peonies. I love these peonies. I think they look really pretty um, inside vases. I love to use these. I use them all the time. I ended up grabbing one of these. I had wanted to grab one a while ago and I didn't and then I was hoping that I'd be able to find it again and I was I want to attach this to my wreath outside my on that's on my front door just kind of in the middle I think it'll look cute right there just a simple added touch of Valentine's Day I also grabbed this little wreath it's felt and I just thought this was cute to add to an area I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna use it at, going to use it yet but I do think I will definitely end up using it and I think I, I like the way it looks. I love the colors together and some of the hearts are sparkly. I'm a big fan of it. I think it's real cute. I picked up some more paper plates. I love this design so much. I remember it from last year and these napkins. Again, I remember these from last year and I loved these so much. So I picked up some of those. I grabbed another one of these heart garlands uh tinsel garlands i wanted to add it to another little area i think it's real cute i think i'm going to add it sprinkle it into my three tiered tray um so cut it up and stuff so i'm excited about that i think it'll look cute i picked up one more of these red heart vases i just put out a video a couple days ago of a diy that i did with these i'll link that video down below and at the end of the video as well if you want to see it um, but I wanted to grab one more to use possibly in my three tiered tray as well Let me know if you guys want to see how I decorate my th <laughs> So tongue twister three tiered tray for Valentine's Day um, I'd love to share that if you guys are interested, but I thought it would look cute in there I picked up some of these a sweet. What are these called? Sweethearts? You know the little conversation hearts. I picked up some of those um, just to use the separation, I don't eat these, and I think they're just so cute. Like, how can you not use them in little decorations here and there? So that's what I got them for. I got one more mug that I forgot that I got. This one looks like this, and I really liked this one as well. I think that their Valentine's Day mugs, well, their Christmas mugs were amazing as well, but... They do such a great job with their mugs. I am never disappointed in them. The last things that I got are all like crafty kinds of things. The first thing that I picked up, I picked up a couple packs of these felt stickers. I've seen a lot of people haul these stickers and I really wanted to find them because I thought they would be cute to do a little DIY with. So I'm really happy that I did end up finding them. I picked up a bigger pack of these felt hearts. They have red, white, and pink in them, and I was going to do a DIY with these as well. Then I picked up a pack of these glittery red and pink hearts. They're in various sizes to also go along with the DIY and ha I had in mind. I saw these little foam stickers that were like the conversation hearts, so I picked up these. There's 90 of them in a pack, so 90 for a dollar. I think that, that would be cute if I tie it in with, I don't know. 
I'll, I'll come up with something cute with it, but I figured I might as well grab it when I know that I want it and it's there and not be disappointed when it's not there when I want it, you know? I picked up a pack of the bigger glitter foam shapes. There's 12 of them and they are pink and red. I picked up these stickers. I thought these were real cute. I'm not exactly sure what I want. I wanted to use them a little bit in my planner, but I thought about using them um, with a DIY. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that or not, but I just think they're cute to have on hand and to add into my daughter's notes that I send her in her lunch boxes. Last thing I picked up was this little box that I got for my daughter for just one of her shelves and it has it um, designed like the coffee cup. It just opens like that and I thought she would like having that and it would be a cute little decoration in her room for Valentine's Day. So that is it for today's Dollar Tree haul. Let me know down below what was your favorite thing that I hauled and if you guys want to see how I decorate my theory three oh my god the tongue twister three tiered tray let me know in the comments below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i would love and appreciate it if i can find a dollar tree that's somewhat close to where we're staying and the areas that we'll be in i'm going to go there and try and do a shop with me and i probably won't be able to like buy much because i'll have to bring it back on the plane but at least we can see what is in a Dollar Tree in that area. So I'm excited about that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.